My favorite class is, is probably the robotics one. It's been one of the more hands-on. That's awesome. <laughs> that is really cool. Uh, I did ATR 282, which is Introduction to Robotics. And that was some of the most fun I've had with engineering devices. I think a person who is, uh, is coming out of high school uh, and wants a position like this in a technical field, uh, some of the requirements I feel is, is good intercommunication skills, uh, good soft skills because you're dealing with not just the machines, you're dealing with people. You know, you're, 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 you have an issue with someone, somebody has, comes up to you and says, I have a problem with this piece of equipment. Uh, you want to be able to understand what they're saying, ask the right questions. Uh, and have a really a mechanical sense, um, have, a, have a passion for, for, for this position. There are a lot of better paying jobs available with a technical degree and, or a certificate from the community college here. And once I realized that and kind of rededicated myself into school, it hadn't really been as big of an issue as high school. The, the workload is fantastic. I'm more energized to do it. I, I'm more engaged and I enjoy what I'm doing more so as far as the work goes. Uh, than I did just as like a, a standard program in high school. This is something that I chose and something that I'm interested in. It's hands-on stuff, very hands-on. You do a lot of hands-on work. You learn the concepts behind everything you do and then you put it to work. The technicians uh, that, that work on the machines are, are mainly for ma our maintenance group and do a lot of the programming, our first shift employees. Um, we have uh, technicians on the off shifts who can fix certain things or repair certain things as machines go down. Uh, they're also school or trained in um, programming of robots. It doesn't matter how much automation you have, you can't make a robot fix itself. They say robots are taking their jobs, but it's actually creating more skilled jobs. You need someone who knows how to program it. You need someone who knows how to fix it. If something goes wrong, you need someone who knows how to install it. You need someone who knows how to work with the robots because if the robot breaks down, the robot can't do anything about it. Students are tremendously valuable because they have certifications, they have specific trainings, they know the basics, and they can be groomed when they enter the workforce. So there's a huge benefit um, for someone who has uh, gone through the training uh, in the mechatronic program or any robotics training, uh, really get a good insight of, of what it's involved um, to take someone off the street and to have them perform some of these tasks, I think could be, uh, first of all, it's gonna take a lot of training uh, from our end uh, at Bemis Manufacturing, but also, um, you know, are they gonna to get to that point where they understand it? We've already have a, a person uh, that's trained, that's gone through the college, uh, that's fully equipped, they can under, they understand exactly what they're getting into uh, and, and can apply that uh, right away. Coming to this community college, really broadens your horizon as far as what jobs you're going to be able to get and especially in this area the electrical field the engineering field here at this school is more tailored to the jobs that are available and the jobs that are going to be coming available as a community college um, towards the end of your semesters you do work-based learning you go into work with these places around you know where you live and you get well-paying jobs right out of the school if you go to a four-year university, that's not guaranteed. And if you do get a job, you're gonna be paying a lot of what you make back to your debt. 